I was just watching this serial, House of Cards. It's about a man who is, and his wife, who are very, very ambitious. And, you know, you kind of hate them and you kind of love them. And what I really want to talk about right now is a particular sequence where uh, they watch the making of a sand mandala. A sand mandala is a painting in sand. You don't sit on a beach and paint something, but rather you take the grains of sand and you put them on a flat, flat surface. They may be, they are of different colors and you can also color them to get, to make something of beauty. And this is a very painstaking process. Every single grain has to fall in just the right place. And you don't have the liberty of, you know, coloring it different, putting a different layer of color and repainting it. Because a grain of sand, if it falls in a wrong place, is there to stay. You can't pick it up without disturbing the rest of the painting. So it's an extremely difficult work. It requires a lot of discipline, a lot of knowledge, a lot of hard work, a lot, lot of skill and a lot of people who do that. So this, this goes on for weeks upon weeks upon weeks and it grows on you. So every day as the president and first lady come down from the residence, they pass through that foyer and they see these monks quietly sitting and doing their work. It sort of irritates you and grows on you at the same time. As that whole thing progresses and the painting images, you sort of fall in love with it. And remember, it's, 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 the product of weeks and weeks and weeks of work and I've forgotten the main story of what else is happening something humongous is happening but I was taken by this sand mandala and as it marched towards completion its beauty just grew and grew and grew and one fine day it was finished. It was finished. Painting every single fucking grain of sand to bring out what the artists want to bring to you. There are letters, there are words, there are holy, uh, there's holy stuff there, there, there are deities there, but primarily it's visual delight it's beautiful it's precise it's very detailed i fell in love with it which as my regular watchers will know i do pretty easily and on the day it was completed they had a finishing ceremony and after the finishing ceremony you know what they did they wiped the whole thing away they wiped the whole thing away weeks and weeks of work of several men several artists what monks whatever you call them they themselves wiped it away picked up the sand about this much which you know was used to create that two by two painting on a flat surface on a tabletop and that was taken and given back to a river to the world I was shocked I was shocked why because I just hate the destruction of beauty I just hate it for me Beauty is forever to keep. I don't like it undone. 
but you know then I understood the philosophy be behind it the message behind it it's that nothing is permanent nothing is permanent and I realized the problem that most of us face most of us fail to accept this reality that's the reason we believe in all kinds of stories and live by them we don't get to the reality we don't like reality we don't like thinking especially logical thinking thinking that takes us to conclusions that are not palatable that are not desirable that we don't like so we, all of us generally live by stories where there is permanence yeah all of us are told you know pray to this God and he'll give you heaven forever in some some cases they also give you a certain number of virgins other cases they give you you know a nearness to God and whatever but what's the whole damn story it's about giving you permanence stories all stories and I have problem with them why do I have a problem with them because the more we believe in stories the more we go away from reality and the more we become unhappy I I'm a happiness consultant. My job is to make people happy. And the only way I believe we can be happy is by embracing truth, reality. We cannot be happy. We can never be happy long term without embracing reality. Why? Because it's some or the other point reality will diverge from the path which you want it to move on and then you'll be unhappy that's the reason we build our stories and live by them because we hate uncertainty we are scared of change we are scared of uncertainty and change because that takes us in a direction in which we don't want to go But then that happens. That always happens. Because guess what? Exactly what the making and destruction of the San Mandala tells us. Nothing is permanent. Change is the only constant. It's an oft-repeated dictum in management circles who said it first a man by the name Siddharth Gautam change is the only constant and we don't like it we are scared of it so all that I want to say today is that don't be scared of the change make and do the damn change